What if I had to start web design from day one all over again? So I've been a professional web designer for four years, worked with over 40 clients. I've also freelanced for three of those years and I currently work full time for Antler as their web designer. But what would I do if I had to start all over again from day one? And specifically, what would I change knowing what I know now? Well, that's what today's video is all about because starting out as a freelance web designer can be really hard. That's because you're gonna encounter beginner's hell. If you look at the graph that I'm putting on the screen right now, you'll see that your confidence starts pretty high, then drops suddenly when you realize this new career isn't as easy as you thought it was. And this dip you're seeing right here in the graph is beginner's hell. Now, most web designers approach beginner's hell in completely the wrong way. And this leads to confusion in the web design process, badly designed websites, that leads to lots of client feedback, endless revisions, which leads to never ending projects, and it's a lot of stress. So that's why I wanted to make this video right here to help you out when you're starting out web design. How can you avoid all of this confusion? Now, let's begin by talking about what you're probably doing wrong as a beginner web designer. Many beginners, including myself, would start designing from a blank Figma file. And this is a really big mistake if you are a beginner. Let me show you how I did this when I was even an intermediate designer. We have a project I did for a friend of mine. He was launching his own little Airbnb rental. So it was basically like a real estate landing page. And looking in the file here, you can see some mood boards that I've made. And then going along here, you can see I've basically just started from a blank page. You can see some initial hero section designs I've done here. Finally, I actually designed the website from that little wireframe. For beginners, there's a much better strategy to delivering your first few websites. For your first five websites, you don't wanna start from scratch. You wanna actually modify a template and then work with the client to actually build that out more. So if I were to go back and actually do this process again, here's what I would do. In your first meeting with the client, you want to find out two things. First thing, what is the client's industry? And secondly, what are some websites that they like so we know what they're expecting? One of the first things you'll create is a mood board. And we can see here that I've actually done this for this client here. Uh, let's, let's just say they like direction one here. What I'm going to do is actually find a website template in Figma that matches this design. Because they've already signed off on the mood board, They've signaled that this is the kind of design that they want to have. All we need to do now is actually find the right template that matches their expectations. So I searched online for some real estate landing pages and I found that there was this template right here called Bastion. It's a Webflow accommodation template that comes with a Figma file. And we can see here in the Figma file, we already have the landing pages designed for us. We can look here, it's actually a really beautiful template. Some nice pictures of the cabin, we've got already an idea here of what this website could be. Then we'll just go ahead and apply the client's branding. So the color scheme, the fonts they have, you would go through this template here and update it with all of their colors so it looks more like it matches their brand. Then you would go and add content. If the client has shared content with you, you can add it in, you can modify the layouts a bit to match what their content says. And from that point on, you've started the project the rest of the project is all about taking the client's feedback and modifying the template. And this is gonna be so much easier for you because if you look here, the website already has all the recommended content. So what do we need on a real estate website? As a beginner, you probably don't know that yet. And one of the hardest parts of building a website is the content plan. When you're a beginner, most clients don't really know exactly what they wanna put on their website. So by getting a template, the template is actually guiding you. It's saying, hey, if you wanna build a real estate website, here are the bits of content that you'll probably need. And so it already has the pages and the content that are recommended for that industry. Can you see by using this process, it's gonna make things so much smoother because you've already got a guaranteed good design. Second of all, it actually guides you and the client in the right direction so that you're not gonna be confused or wondering what content should go on the website. Bonus points if your Figma template also comes with a Webflow website, like this website here has already been developed all we would need to do is modify the colors like we do in Figma, but in Webflow. This is gonna make your development like way faster and way more smoother. So you might be thinking, well, I'm not actually a real designer if I'm using templates. Designers shouldn't use templates. Me, after working four years in the industry, I've realized two things. The first thing is that clients don't 
seem to care too much about your process. What they care about is having a website that works well for their business, looks good, and loads quickly. They don't really mind as much how you get there. And secondly, you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you build a website. Like most web design pros are starting from some sort of UI kit or layout system to help their workflow speed up. If you're an advanced designer and you want to design from scratch, that's totally up to you. But what I'm saying is if you're a beginner and you want to negate this process of beginners how a lot quicker, use templates. You will also learn to be a good designer faster because one of the best ways to learn design and get better is by looking at templates and other examples of great design and trying to understand them. You'll be completing more projects in a quicker time, so you'll be making more money. And overall, you're gonna have a lot more happy clients because you're consistently delivering good work. So if I was starting out day one, I would use this process on my first 10 websites. You might make more money working with a template than charging more and having to design from scratch. Sometimes charging less and using a template is actually a lot more profitable as a web designer. So even for advanced web designers, maybe you're overloaded with work right now and you don't have the time to do a custom design, but a client comes along, they want a website and can say, hey, look, here's a template. We can customize this together and maybe you discount the price slightly. So there you have it. If I was starting out from day one, this is exactly the process I would be using to deliver websites to clients. Hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions or thoughts, please leave them in the comments below. Um, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.